For this project, I thought I'd share a couple of experiments that I've been doing to colour soft plastic layers, either ones you've made yourself or the store-bought variety. To start out, I'm using a shad layer that I've been working on recently. If you're a regular to this channel, you'll probably recognise this layer from a video I made a few weeks back. And I'll post a link to that video, it covers the build right through to actually catching a fish with the thing. It was made by basically injecting a silicon mould with soft plastic. And to give it just a touch of colour, I added some very fine glitter and also a little bit of pearl green and that's given me a, a translucent base to work with. The eyes are just sequins that are being held together with some fishing line. This again is something I covered in another video, which I'll post a link to either on screen or down below. To get some colour on the thing, I've got together some Sharpies. These are just a brand of permanent marker. I'm looking to make a roach pattern, which is a common bait fish in the UK. So I'm starting with a kind of pastel blue. And then as best as I can, I'm gonna lay down an even streak of colour along one side of the back. I can give this a couple of goes and then turn it over and repeat. With both sides complete, I can blot off any excess on some paper. This tends to get rid of some of the darker blotches and kind of even things out. Then I can go back and add some to the top to darken it slightly and even out the sides a bit. Again, I'll blot this off. For the fins, I'm going with an orangey red and again, just simply rubbing it on and then blotting off any excess. So that's obviously pretty easy to do, but there are some drawbacks with this type of stain. And that's really that it fades, but it also, it fades in an odd way. Rather than just disappearing, it kind of spreads out through the bait over time. These are layers I colored maybe three years ago, and that dye's migrated from the top of the bait to color the whole thing. Again, this was a Berkeley bait which started out clear, and I added a dark back to and an orange stripe on the belly, and those two colors have gradually merged together. Generally with this method, I've learned to avoid the dark colors and also stay away from doing too much detail work with hard edges as it will just fade out. With that said, there are a big range of colors to experiment with if you wanted to maybe match the local bait fish or just let your artistic side run a bit wild. But beyond marker pens, I've also been experimenting with this, which is a, a chrome effect powder that's normally used for, for painting fingernails. So to use it, it's really dead simple. I bought this on eBay and it comes with a little applicator brush. And what I'm gonna do is just take this little pad and just kind of press it onto the gill plates. And the soft plastic kind of seems to grab hold of it superficially and, and make it easy to kind of spread and build up a layer. as easy as it goes on it also comes off pretty easily and I can just kind of rub that off so to fix it I'm going to use this which is uh, mend it this is a, a soft plastic repair compound basically it's a solvent with some soft plastic melted into it and how it works to fix splits is the solvent kind of melts both sides and then evaporates away leaving all that to melt back together as one but in this case, I'm gonna use a little brush just to spread some over the surface of that silver. That solvent should kind of seep through and melt the surface of the soft plastic and also leave some of the soft plastic behind on the surface to act as a varnish. It says on here about 10 minutes to dry. I'm gonna give it probably about 20. So that's had about 20 minutes and really no powder's coming off. It's pretty much sealed in. The real beauty of this is getting that flash underwater, which even to me is a bit mesmerizing, let alone the pike. Durability wise, used in small areas like this, it really does stand up, at least as long as the baits, which when pike fishing is never as long as you'd like. But these are down and dirty methods, 
and they work for me because I don't need to spend a lot of money or break out the airbrushes, but they're far from perfect. If you have your own ideas on how you colour layers and you'd like to share them, leave a comment below or post a link to your own channel or videos. Currently I'm working on editing a film that I've been making with Machak of Mel Layers over in Ireland and it's actually not about layer making or layer fishing, it's about one of his friends who's really facing a, a kind of big turning point or challenge in his life and that should be out fairly soon. I'm going to leave you with a sneak peek and thanks for watching.